This is the 20th video of the Battle of Austerlitz. I am playing the French and artificial intelligence is playing the Russians and the Austrians, which for some strange reason are both in the same color. That's irritating. I wish they would have made them different colors, but apparently not. Anyway, uh, the turn is December 2nd, 1805, 12.20 p.m. Turn 33 out of 66. The f it is the French movement phase. And uh, we've got light overcast, which looks like it doesn't make any difference because visibility is 40 hexes. And movement, artillery fire, and musketry are not affected. So we have like two separate battles going on here. We've got one west of uh, Pratson, and then we've got another south of Pratson Heights. In this scenario, which I thought was interesting, um, Napoleon decided to hold on to Pratson Heights after all. So they're behind me. I decided to fight further up. Now, what's happened with this part of the battle is the enemy approached in the center here. I wiped them out, and then another force is coming at me from the same direction, and it's joined by a force of a fairly big force of cavalry coming down from the north and there's another huge force scattered up here in the north which I guess is will be coming down so what I've decided to do is go on the offensive with the southern part of the line so this part of the line down here is detached and is moving on this plateau to engage these guys while my cavalry is concentrated over here and it just gained the plateau so that's where we stand on this part of the battlefield so I'll zoom in here and start my movement <clears throat> so I don't want to move up all that fast here because he does have a number of undisordered cavalry units. My stuff is pretty weak. Oh, 13 men. 49, 75. Okay, so what I want to do here is don't tell me. Jesus, I hate this. I moved. It looks like I moved these guys already. I'm always thinking, oh, look, I can move these guys and I'll be in such a wonderful position. <laughs> Okay, we'll go on to the next phase, the Allied Defensive Fire. Okay, two men. We're in the southern part of the battlefield now. One man, two men. He's uh, pursuing me, so he's getting some shots. Seven men, no, men, no effect. With the forces I've left behind as rear guard, no effect, no effect. 11 men. Yeah, he's just dinging the rear guard. 24 men. 2 men. 3 men. Now this is the forces that are getting away. 2 men. Notice how low the casualties are. Okay, French offensive fire. I don't believe I have any at all. French melee. Nope. Allied movement. Okay. Now here comes is skirmishers. They still hold that the road in that pass. Oh, okay. He's moving through the swamp. I bet that's fun. One hex a turn. He's limbering up his artillery, but I still hold the road. 
Oh, now he's got, <laughs> he's got batteries. They're not deployed yet, but they're right in front of my skirmisher here. Who was routed, now he's only disordered. Okay, and these guys are sliding. What, they're going backwards? I thought they were going to cross on the ice. Where the hell's he going? Is he going to go around this pond? Hmm. Yeah, these guys now are coming out of line, I suppose, and the batteries are limbering up to chase me down. Okay, this is the north where Krug is. Christ, he's sending a battery, artillery battery, after that one cavalry unit. That cavalry unit is only up there to spy on those guys and see what they're up to. Jeez. Okay, I'll have to move away. These guys are all headed south now. Wow, he keeps moving closer to me. That certainly is brave. But I have a feeling he he's got he can't see any any hex on top of the this plateau. Because he's got no units there. He he might be he can probably see these guys just because they're on the edge of the plateau, but he doesn't know the force that's coming against him from that plateau. Well, now he's coming out here against this cavalry spy. Oh, he's charging him. Hmm. French defensive fire. Okay, this is my rear guard there. Well, this guy's still in line, although he's disordered, so he'll shoot eight men. These other guys are... They really can't shoot. We'll go to Allied Offensive Fire. Eight men. No effect. He's dinging on my rear guard. No effect. Now he's two, two men got on the pursuit for Allied melee. Oh, he tried attacking this uh, spy. Let's see what happened to him. Well, he disordered. Then he disordered me, so it was a draw. What else has he got here? Oh, he's got another battery, so he's got two batteries. But, you got any more cavalry? I wonder. He's got two skirmishers. Well... We'll have to send another cavalry unit up there. Maybe he doesn't have any more cavalry. The one he's got is disordered. So we'll see what we can do. Now, we've got a 13-man unit. You may think, oh, that's worthless, but that's far from the case because what we do for it, with it, we put it out front. And what do we have? Another weakling back here? 49 men. And we put our stronger units behind it. And the reason we do that is because if he decides to charge us, 
he'll charge the front unit and he'll either disorder it or drive it away and then he'll be faced by the rear unit who will most likely not always but most likely be able to charge him so we've got another weakling here yeah right there So we'll put the weaklings ahead and we'll put a horse artillery battery behind each one of three columns here. So you just oh, he went off to the side. Okay, and then Come up with this infantry. Get to make use of this road. Now this plateau is actually a nice position to hold. It's all high ground. So we're going to do a counteroffensive here in the middle of his offensive. And we're going to hold this. We're going to anchor our right flank on this plateau. Okay, this is a cavalry unit, so we'll boogie up this way. All right, now these guys are on the plateau already. Let's get up here. Move across with the cavalry here. square and limber up this cavalry or this artillery Whoop. where am I now okay oh moved out two hexes that isn't too bad Jeez, I've got all these leaders. I've got to sort these leaders out next turn. Okay, now this cavalry 
I'm going to swing it around here and rejoin my other cavalry. Has moved here. Oh, this guy's recovered. Good. I guess I can start firing at this guy. Uh, what I'm going to do is move up there. Remember up this artillery. Move up there with him. Sky underneath. That'll be a good area to shoot from. Move this guy up here. Unmember the artillery. Oh, that's as far as he can go. Put this guy in the column. Now this is the end of this high ground here. So I'm going to put this guy up there. And this guy. him, put him in column, move him this way, Get some artillery fire here. I'll get set to charge these guys. Now let's point them down. Then this infantry will do one of two things. It'll either go in a square or it'll back up, I think. We'll see. Okay, and these are a bunch of leaders. 
I gotta get all these leaders together and sort out the, the these different divisions. Okay, so we've got this guy in line. We're gonna put him in column. Put this artillery unit in. Limbered, limbered state. Okay, now everything's in motion. Oh, except this guy. What happened to him? Geez, that's pathetic. He can only move two hexes. Got the slows. Okay, so now we've got a plan in motion to take the high ground here. Then we'll. Uh, will probably force him back and he is probably going to drop back to this high ground here and uh, if he does I'm not sure I'm going to do anything about it because it wouldn't well we'll see we'll see I shouldn't say anything yet he hasn't got much uh, in the way of uh, infantry and if I mass all my cavalry I think I have as much or more than he does anyway that's the movement on this front now we go to the other one which is my retreat or as the Japanese would say, as they did say during World War II, advance to the rear. That's my advance to the rear. Okay, we're going to set up artillery positions here along this ridge. And we've got flanking fire here. So, let's get this uh, supply up here. And these two guys are going to hold our flank. And we've got one artillery battalion sitting underneath each artillery battery. These guys are disordered, so I'm going to move them to the side here out of the way. This guy isn't disordered. That's good. Let's see him slip up through here. Come on. Trying to save this disorder, these disordered uh, battalions. There's about a half dozen of them. See, that guy got routed, so he's past saving. Got to have these guys move more than one hex, though. So I don't want to sacrifice my cavalry, but I'll have them as rear guard for another turn. I have to leave that guy behind. The skirmisher is toast. I'll move these guys back. Oh, why did that, that go on? I didn't press it.
once he get out, gets out in the open, we'll see how how far he wants to chase me. Okay, these guys are all toast. <laughs> oh, only skirmishers, huh? So we can get on the road. our main goal to block these roads. Well, this guy, I don't know where he's going. I guess we'll find out. Okay. I think there's nothing more to be done for movement, so let's go to defensive fire. No effect. Five men. One man. One man. Eight men. That's his artillery. No effect. No one man. Fatigue. Thirty-four men. That's his artillery. Twenty-one. Yeah, he's getting the last of my rear guard. No effect. Two men. Five men. That's it. Okay. French offensive. Well, I guess I don't have any. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, no, I don't. French melee. I don't have any of that either. Okay. Allied movement. Yeah, he's chasing me with skirmishers, but they don't count for much. Oh, look at that. His cavalry is is going to try to engage me. Okay, that's good. What the heck? Is he going around this lake? He's going over it. Huh. His army's all bunched up. It can't gain that pass and these guys almost refuse to occupy Krug and start moving down the road why I don't know oh now he's going to occupy the hill That's interesting. I should uh, yeah, go out a little further. Huh. Well, he's still moving towards me. Into the jaws of doom. Oh, Christ, he's moving right up. 
<laughs> moving right up in front of my uh, Calvary with I'll have to check this out I can't oh okay it's given up trying to hold that plateau Now he's stacking up with his infantry, thinking if uh, I charge him, I'll be disordered, which is true, which is why I'm not going to charge him. I can just back up. French defensive fire. Okay, now I don't have any down here, but I'll bet I have some up here. Let's check it out. Okay, let's see if this artillery can shoot at him. Well, he's too high up. I have to turn those guns. I didn't think he'd come up there. Yeah, he's all stacked up, daring me to charge him. Well, surprise! I'm not going to charge you. In fact, I'll just back up. Oh, this artillery probably can fire on him. Bang! 43 men. Oh, what do you think of that? Huh. Well, this is interesting. Should I declare an all-out offensive against him? I think maybe I should put all these uh, guys into line. Especially since he's decided to withdraw to this hill. He's got cavalry here. A lot of it. But that's it. And his infantry is right here. Hmm. Well, well, well. Might have to go after him. I did not think he'd advance on me. It's like he's, they're led by, well, Blucher, I think, was here. It's like Blucher's coming after me. Mad Dog. Mad Dog Blucher. Okay. Allied offensive fire. Ten. No effect. Five. No effect. No effect. Oh, two men. That's a key rear guard area. Two men. Three men. No effect. Three men. Two men. No effect. That's it. Ally melee. Okay, he's meleeing part of my rear guard. The skirmishers. Okay, French movement. Well, let me go all the way up here. I'm forgetting to move this guy. Well, this guy's still okay, but this guy, right there. Apparently nobody's going down this road. All right, now. It's got one, two, three batteries, four, five.
Hmm. Should I just stay here? He's in column. Of course, he's got the artillery here. Um, this is tempting. Should I surround these units? I don't think I can quite do it, but I can come close. I think I'll give it a try. <laughs> this will be funny. Yeah, he'll get a couple casualties, but he's in column. He's not going to get many. <laughs> now I'm going to take this group. over here on lower ground. I think the same with this group. Okay, so I'm going to bring all of these guys Put all of them in column and unlimber the artillery and move forward. The reason I'm putting them in the column is because they move the furthest. If they're in line, they don't move very far. Oh, what do I do? And they got to go over this ridge, so they're not going to go more than a hex, probably, but that's okay. They're on their way. force is going to advance and see how you like that oh Christ he was in column and I put him back into into line and I put him in column again but he can't move I was the only guy that was in column I should look at this stuff before I do it I just assumed he was in line Okay. Oh, gun still limbered. I put the guys in line. That was a mistake. We'll advance everybody. These guys are in line. Put them in column. Okay, all those guys are advancing. Hmm. 
Now I want to get as much of my cavalry as possible concentrated. Let's move these guys up. I want him to see these guys so he turns his artillery, part of his artillery this way. They're still a long ways off, so I don't think they're going to be very effective if they fire on him. I have a lot more artillery than he does. Oh, where are we over here? Oh, look, he's brought up more cavalry. Well, it's okay with me if he wants to charge me. Oh, look, it's got more here. Well, I'm going to hold this road, sucker. And this part of it, too. All right, let me concentrate on getting all these guys moved forward. Now, have all these guys moved, it looks like. Oh, not that guy. Get these guys all lined up on the road. Come on, let's light up. Okay. Wow, still got a bunch of stuff to move.
especially more cavalry to come up. Oops. Okay. Well, this road is the quickest way forward with all these ridges, so I'm going to go up it. Come on. Whoa, there's a lot of these guys. This guy's slow. to get him out of the line. All right. Uh, that's it for up here, I think. He's got quite a bit of cavalry here. That's cut off. Well, sort of. Hmm. We'll see what he does with this infantry, if he stays where he is or he withdraws. I know what he's going to do with the artillery, he's going to unlimber it. But he can only cover so many hexes. And these guys, they backed away. The question are, is, is, are they going to come off of this hill and try to overwhelm me, which they might be able to do with the, the cavalry I've got here, but I'll just withdraw. Okay, let's check out the second part. The retreat. Let's make sure I've got everybody placed here. him one more. Yeah. Oop. Deploy the artillery and turn him to face down. Put this guy with the artillery. Oh, I'll turn him to face down. I think I have enough to put him in line. Nope, but I will next time. 
this battery. I will turn and then deploy him. Let's see, we'll turn this column, put him in line. Put this artillery in. Unlimbered and we'll turn him down. That's good. Well, we've got a good artillery line there now. We'll turn this column. Put him in line. Infantry is good. We'll put the artillery in column. We'll turn him down. Excellent. Okay, and we'll send this our supply up. And then we'll establish our flank. guy down. Nope, not enough to put him in column, but that's okay. We'll do that next turn. And this guy will turn. Okay, and that's part of our artillery line. This guy will move down and turn. Okay. These guys are like backups. Now he's getting close to this cavalry. Let's see if we can't dissuade him. Oh, this guy's recovered. Oh, nice. So we can jump up here. This guy's recovered. Very good, recovered on the march. All right. need to keep rolling here. Now, I think we'll head down here. Guy's disordered. Let's get him out of the way. Oh, where's my other cavalry here?
Oh. And these guys, I have to get that supply off the road next turn. Uh, we'll see how long he wants to keep chasing me. Okay, I think I'm all set. Well, let's see if he'll come out in the open. If he does, I may attack him. I'll dismantle my left wing here and sweep down. We will see. Let me check the time here. Okay, are these loaded in? Looks like. Geez, 59 minutes. What a, okay, well, I guess that's a good place to stop then. I'm actually going to write a note, a note card here. Done movement. Hosterlitz. Okay, so we will save the game. And we will continue it tomorrow.